Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Division 2 video. So today I got a quick one for you showing you how to increase the control point uh, alert level to level 3 and even level 4. And the reason you're going to want to do that is one, because you're going to get better um, rewards at the end of it. When you, when you finish the control point and you get to go into the supply room and open up the caches, um, you're going to get better loot from that. It, also, it's going to give you new blueprints for weapon mods. Once you do the, the first couple unlocks for the blueprints for the weapon mods, you're probably like, how, how am I supposed to get you know more weapon mods? Is this it? No. So what you want to do is you want to do the level 3 or level 4 control points as well as side missions give you some more blueprints for mods. And I think challenging missions, uh, hard and challenging missions also give you blueprints. Um, so let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So for the control points, you're going to notice like all these little red lines on the map once you hit level 30 and do the strongholds. And what these lines mean, um, see how they're, they're always connected to a control point. Here's a control point crash site and you see the uh, level 1 in the top left corner. What you do to increase that is you're going to do the... Um, attached uh, like side missions and once you do that it's going to raise the alert level on the crash site or on the control point so yeah you can see here I checked the map and look at this control point and see that it's level 2 I had already done um, one of the side missions I go and I do this one just happened to be a territory control um, and I finish that mission the territory control and I go back and check the map again and it now says control point level 3 and now you see over here the rewards is a blueprint so um which is going to in turn give you it's going to be harder for sure like it's, it, it gets really fucking hard especially level four um you're going to die a lot i highly recommend either uh grabbing some clan mates or, or matchmaking or uh send out um one of those uh help requests to do the level four uh control points I mean, you can solo them. It's 100% it's doable. I've done uh, a couple level four control points solo, but it is really hard. Um, and the cool thing is, is you can die and respawn at like a safe house and come back. But I have noticed if you die a lot, and then also if you know you send out a request for that your, I guess, friendly NPCs to come help you, if the NPC leader dies, it'll drop you a tier. So. Um, if you're a level four control point and your teammates die and you die, then it'll drop you to level three, which I mean, it's not a big deal. It, it, it's just, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, go through all the, the time and trouble of, of raising the alert level to level three or four and then, you know, having to drop levels and it's just, just waste your time. So try not to die. I know it does get hard. These, they are tanky as fuck at level four. Um, in level four, you do, I forgot to mention, you will get like skill or uh, specialist points, sharpshooter points or demolitious points to upgrade your skill trees and your specialization. So that is a perk of doing level four over level three. Level three, you just get um, extra rewards from the caches and blueprints. But yeah, so that's how you increase the alert level of the control points. Totally just going to be a quick one today. Um, just a little PSA for you guys out there. You know, once you hit end game, you're like, what am, what am I supposed to do? You're kind of, you're kind of in limbo right now until World Tier Five opens. I don't really want to grind out builds and stuff because it's going to be obsolete in like a week or so, whenever World Tier Tier Five opens. So what I'm doing right now is just grinding out all the weapon mods and stuff I can. Um, I'm doing that by doing these uh, level three and four control points. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe if you want to see some more Division Two content. And yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Later.